Hi there! This video is going to show you around Canva. I'm going to show you how to create a course banner for Canvas and you'll pick up some design tips along the way. To get started, log into your own free Canva account by going to canva.com. At the top, search for Canvas Banner. You're going to see a whole bunch of templates that are sized just right for a banner in Canvas. To get started, you can just click on one of them, or if you want to start by scratch, you can do that too by selecting the empty canvas with the plus icon in the top left corner. I'm going to choose this one right here. So I just clicked on it. I'm going to close out of this little box here and close out of that one too. Now this is going to open the banner in the canvas, which is basically like a little creative space where you can design your banner. Now what you see here is a template and that means you can keep it the way it is or you can change absolutely anything in it. Something that I like to do when I'm working with a template is to create a duplicate of it by selecting duplicate page in the upper right corner. If I click there, you'll see that it just makes a copy. And then I can edit the copy and I always have that original one to go back to if I do something that I don't like. So don't be afraid. Get creative. So a few things you can do that are simple is click on the text and in the upper left corner right here we can click on the font name which is Anton and we can change it over to any other font just by clicking. and You can see how it responds to these different selections. I actually like that first one so I'm going to stick with that. If we want we can also select a different text color by choosing that option in the toolbar at the top. If I click there I can pick a different color. When you're picking colors it's really important that you remember to design an image that has a strong contrast between the background and the foreground color. So if you're choosing something light like yellow, be sure that your background has something dark, like dark blue or something even darker than that. Now you can also remove things from the design. I'm going to take out this doodad over on the left just by clicking on it and deleting everything that I click on. So I just removed four different layers of elements from the design. I also don't think I want these little guys down here so I'm going to get rid of those and I'm going to take my text now and click on it and drag it over to the center. You can also drag those left or right and left edges over to the end and that ensures that it's perfectly centered. If you don't want it centered you can click on the text and go up to the top and change the alignment by clicking the alignment option. I'm going to leave mine centered and I'm going to do the same thing with this text below. And I'm going to click shift on my keyboard and now I can select both of those at the same time by clicking shift and then clicking on the elements and I can pull those down a little bit. I'm going to retitle this just by deleting the text and adding in intro to. So there's the title of my course and down here I can change this to anything I want like my name. can give a little bit more space there between the two. Now I'm going to go over to the left side and do something, add something to this design. In the far left column I'm going to click on elements and then search for a different kind of banner. Let's just type in banner and see what comes up here. So from scrolling through I, I see this yellow banner here so let me click there and it adds it to my design which doesn't look so great does it? But check this out. I can grab the corner and make that much smaller center it above my text and now over on the left again I'm going to go down and select 
text, choose one of these sizes of text. I'll say add a subheading and I can drag that text up to that banner and with it highlighted I can type something different in there. I can type welcome to. Now that white on yellow the, is a very low contrast so that's not going to work for accessibility purposes. That's really hard to see. That's what we mean by accessibility. The more contrast we have the more people will be able to see it. So I'm going to highlight that text again and go up to the text color in my toolbar at the top click there and then toggle that text over to black. I'm also going to make it bigger. Okay. And move it up a little bit. Now check this out. This is pretty cool. I have that text highlighted, right? If I click on effects at the top above the banner, there's all these different font effects. I recommend that you keep your fonts simple. Okay? But this one's pretty helpful when you have a curved element like that banner. If I click on curve, it curves it and you might think, well, that doesn't look very good. But you can adjust that curve down below here so it's not quite so curved. So if I just keep going, I can curve it to align with the banner's curve and center it just right. And you know what? That's a pretty cool banner. I do, however, want to show you one little design tip that Canva has built in here because it's something you can use in your future classes. In the background, there's a black and white picture of the city, of a city, with a blue square over it that is not fully opaque, so it's somewhat transparent. And if I click on the blue and drag it down, you can see what I mean, right? Pretty tricky. So I want you to remember that if you've got an image, you can add it to the background and you can, let me click on that image, go to edit image and usually what you'll want to do is up the contrast if you're going to use it like this in a background because then it, it gets more visible underneath a color and you just, let me take the blue off so I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to delete that and go back over to elements under lines and shapes I'm going to click on the square I'm going to just drag that over the whole image it doesn't look so great right now right and then we want to go to position and move it to the back so it's behind that banner I added and now we want to change the color so here is my color swatch I'm going to click there in the toolbar at the top change it over to a dark blue. I'll pick this color. If I want to make that a little darker, I can click on add a new color and make it darker. Okay, so now I've got my blue background. Here's the trick. At the top, on the right side, select transparency and then just make it a bit transparent. Now you see my blue is a little bit of a different color than it started with, but it still looks pretty good, right? Pretty professional. So I'm going to actually just go ahead and delete this one at the top because I don't need it anymore. So I'll click on that garbage can icon above the banner I want to delete. And my last step is to download my banner to my computer. In the upper right corner, I'll click on download. You want to be sure that under file type, it says PNG. That means image file. That's what you need for Canvas. Okay. Be sure it says PNG. If it says something different, just click on it and toggle to PNG and then choose download. And the image will download to your computer and that's what you're going to load into your page in Canvas.